Welcome, let's understand the Euler number. In multiple concepts in mathematics and science, there was an expression that was always appearing. 1 plus 1 over x all raised to the x. Knowing that x is an unknown, as mathematicians, we wanted to know what would happen if this value of unknown increases without a bound. In other words, we wanted to see what would happen if we take the limit as x goes to infinity of this expression. Well, let's see. Let's get the expression of 1 plus 1 over x all raised to the x. And let's start substituting values for x's. And we keep increasing those values without a bound. If we plug in x equals to 1 to this expression, we're going to get the y value of 2. If we plug in 10 to this expression, we're going to get 2.5937. If we keep increasing these values and now we plug in the value of 100, we would obtain the value of 2.7048. And if we plug in a higher value, now let's plug in the value of 1000 into this function for x, we would obtain the value of 2.7169. And if we let x be equal to 10,000 in this expression, we're going to get a y value of 2.7181. And if we let x be equals to 100,000, then the y value that we will obtain is 2.7182. When it comes to the y values that we were obtaining, they're starting to get stuck at a very specific number. From 2 to 259 to 270 to 271, 271, 271. And if we were to keep increasing the value of x's, my outputs would still be getting very close to the value of 2.71. And this value that we were approaching as x goes to infinity on the expression of 1 over 1 over x all raised to the x, which we have said to be of a value of 2.71, it's what we define as the Euler number. But remembering that this expression was something that appeared frequently in many studies in mathematics and sciences, then the Euler number would appear in many studies in science and mathematics. So it was decided to use the letter of E to represent the Euler number. So anytime we see the character of E, we know that we are referring to the Euler number, which has an approximation of 2.71. So now let's think about why does this behavior occur? Let me rewrite the expression that we started this conversation with. The scenario that we were observing was the scenario when x was increasing without a bound. When that happens, notice what will happen to this expression. It's getting closer to zero. Well, let's think about this. The denominator has the variable of x and x is increasing without a bound. What would happen if you get one fraction and the denominator is getting larger and larger? Well, the fraction is getting smaller and smaller until it gets very close to zero. So when the x values are getting larger, the inside of the parentheses is starting to get closer to one plus zero, raised to the x. And inside the values, when we add them up, it will be equals to 1. And now when we take a look at this result, as my values of x's are getting bigger, we are multiplying infinitely times the value of 1. So essentially, the y values are getting larger and larger. But at some point, we're going to be multiplying by some number that is very close to 1, and if we are multiplying by a number that is close to 1, we're not changing the previous value, then we are getting stuck at a specific number, and that number is 2.71, the Euler number. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.